lag got you pulling your head out, you're probably not using Spark. But guess what? There's that simple way to spot exactly what's slowing things down and I'll walk you through it today. In this guide, we'll show you how to install, use and get the most out of the Spark plugin so you can identify lag and keep your server running very smooth. This tutorial is for Spark to host servers but it will work on other server hosting platforms too. Clients switching to Spark can save up to 230% on their hosting costs with hardware that's 37% faster. Check the link in the description for more information. So what exactly is Spark? Spark is a lightweight profiling tool that helps you pinpoint server lag. Keep in mind that Spark only works on Forge or Fabric servers. So how do we install Spark? You should head over to the Spark's download page which you should find in the description. Download the version that matches Minecraft version and server type. For me that is Fabric 1.21.4. After that you should head over to your Apollo panel. Open the file manager. Navigate to the mods folder and drag and drop the mod we just installed. After that, just restart your server and the mod should work right away. Now that we're in game, let me show you some commands to navigate this plugin. The first command is slash spark profiler. Keep the server running for around 10 minutes before you end the profiler. And you do that by typing slash spark profiler dash dash stop. You should get a link in the console Click it to see a full report of your tick times and performance data. If you want a little more control, you can use those commands. Slash spark profiler start starts the profiler manually. Slash spark profiler stop stops the report and gets your report. Slash spark profiler info checks the profiler's current status. Here are some optional flags that are useful to know. If you're in a ticket with Spark to host due to server lag, send us the profiler link. It'll help us troubleshoot faster. Also, please keep in mind that you might need to install the Fabric API mod so it can prevent some crashes later on. And that's it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please make sure to drop them in the comments. And make sure to like and subscribe if this guide helped you out. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.